Hey God here, and today we're going to be continuing what if dudes in my clan had a dojutsu. This is chapter 2, and um, yeah, so this what if is going to be hopefully really interesting for you guys. You guys smashed the like button on the last video, the like goal is 10 likes, and it's at 12 right now. Hopefully you guys can continue that energy through this series. Um, I'm probably going to have it set at 15 likes for this one. Yeah, 15 likes for the next video. Um, if you want it f soon, if you want it soon, guys, go check out my What If Naruto is in the Kaguya Clan Chapter 4. That thing is out, and it's only got, like, 37 views. I thought you guys would like that one more. But, um, yeah, guys, let's just get it right into the video after the intro. <laughs> So basically, guys, we left off with Naruto being named as the Rookie of the Year, since he is like a prodigy, he has his dojutsu all set up. And basically, he's almost unbeatable. So, um, yeah, time for team selections. The teams then cut out for Naruto's team. Naruto Uzumaki. Shikamaru Nara. And Ino Yamanaka. For the next team, Choji Akamichi, Sasuke Uchiha, Sakura Haruno. Last team that actually matters is going to be Kiba, Hinata, and, you know, like in canon. So, Naruto is going to have, sadly, it can't be Kakashi, since um, he's got to deal with the Sharingan. And he doesn't really know about Naruto's dojutsu. It actually seems that Naruto knows what how to use his dojutsu. So, Asuma is going to be the one of their sensei. Sa uh, Sasuke sensei is going to be Kakashi. And Kurenai sensei is going to have the same team as normal. So, um, Asuma's team leaves and goes to meet with Asuma. While Sasuke has got to leave. The wait and stuff. So, time skip a few minutes when they finally get to training round 10 and then Osma says they're gonna have to do like a little bell test thing and there's only two bells so let's pass Shikamaru would then ask him how long they have to prepare and he would say 15 minutes Shikamaru would then start thinking about the plan and how it doesn't really make any sense that most gaining teams have three-man squads he would then tell Naruto and you know that the only way they could win is if they actually use teamwork and That's the only way all of them were gonna pass no matter what I feel like Shikamaru would actually be able to figure this out since he's honestly one of the most intelligent guys in the show So yeah, let's just say it does figure it out so the time begins for them and They all charge at Kakashi Naruto doing the brunt of the work since he activates Sorry, not Kashi Asuma. Since he activates his dojutsu. And then he rushes in. Using his sealing technique to almost calmly away Asuma's blades. Although he's fast enough to dodge it. Naruto is then coming in and uses a wind style gale palm. While Shikamaru then tries to set up a time for his shadow. Ino would then come from behind Asuma trying to swipe at the bells with her kunai. Barely missing. Asuma would then... Say they're using teamwork. This is good. I might have an easy game this year. Then they kept charging at him, making him forced to retreat for a little bit. They would then chase after him, with Shikamaru saying, Man, how troublesome. If I knew ninja, being a ninja was going to be this hard, I wouldn't have done it. Naruto would then say, Follow me, follow me. I can see him. He would then follow Asma, who would lead them about another few kilometers away, and then they would all gang up on him. He would then say that they all passed since they used teamwork, and that they would need to meet at the training ground the next day. Naruto would be pretty excited for this, and he can't wait to be starting his awesome missions. He wonders what he's going to do next. Rescuing the princess... 
making sure merchants got to their own country safely. Although, sadly, he was definitely mistaken. Time skipped to the next day. Naruto's the first one there. He's probably been up the entire night. He looks that way, as his eyes are dark red, with red in between the white parts of them. Some people might think that he's actually really just really sleep deprived, but he's actually got his dojutsu on because of, of all the pent up energy he has. Shikamaru and then Ino then arrive. Ino would then try asserting her dominance over everyone. She would then say, Okay, listen here, I'm going to be the leader of this group so that way we all stay in line. Shikamaru would then say, Troublesome. Awesome would then show up and introduce them to some D rank missions. So, a few of the D rank missions went by and they had to chop wood, they were walking dogs and stuff like that. Then, one of the missions, they would come to a clothing store where you know would have Naruto buy it. I knew it. Similar to the one on the screen, similar to his old one, except for his all more clean. Kind of like the one on the screen to the right. Naruto would reluctantly agree and use all that day's pay to buy several pairs of that outfit. They would then finish up the ingredients for the day. This type of schedule would continue for about a month and a half until Asuma would give them a team animation, as well as team training exercises, which Naruto would get pretty proficient in, as long with Ino and Shigamaru. They would be a very powerful teamwork based team. And um, they'd be honestly pretty almost unbeatable. Naruto would actually learn three new jutsu over this month and a half time period. He would be learning the body flicker jutsu as well as trying to learn a new nature transformation, which in this case I'm giving him water as an affinity. And I feel like this is water because, um, well, Kushin had water. I'm pretty sure he had water. And so they'll be able to do it a little bit. You know, it makes sense. So Naruto would learn two jutsu. Naruto would actually learn the water clone since a clone jutsu, like similar to the shadow clone, is most familiar to him, even though it is an advanced technique. He would also learn water bullet. Then th the time came. After Asuma was done beating the crap out of them one of the days of their training, he would then say, Team 10, come here. All of them would then hustle there as fast as they could. We then say, You guys have been training good and hard for a long time. I'm pretty sure you guys are ready to bump up notch the searing missions. Naruto would then jump up in the air excitedly. Yeah! Yeah, finally! I've been training so hard, Asuma Sensei. I'm gonna be able to do this. You're gonna be able to you're gonna see me. I'm gonna win. I'm gonna win. Uh Sikamaru would then say, mm, troublesome C ranks must be a little bit higher. Ino would then say, yes, dad will be so proud of me. She would then give Naruto a hug and then push away, jump back away from him unexpectedly as she didn't mean to give him a hug. She would then blush and think to herself, no way, am I actually falling for this guy? What an idiot. Naruto would then blush to himself and then not say a word about it. Asuma would then say, prepare for a week-long mission. Make sure you have rations and clothing for the enough. Naruto would start to develop his own type of sonar jutsu. Using wind chakra and the smell around him of the wind, he could pick up on things and people near him. He could also distinguish people because of the wind chakra. He could maybe um, cut someone a little bit and then like see their blood and then recognize people that way. Or just get in the shape of their body. And you could use wind chakra and get that down. So Naruto can basically send out a pulse of wind chakra that can take in his entire surroundings. The next day, all of them would get their all bags ready to pack, and then they would then departure on their first seeing mission, which was to deliver a scroll to a nearby village, the village hidden in the grass. After three and a half days of walking, they finally made it to the village, as it looked like there was about to be a standoff. As they all walked to the middle of the town, everyone was watching them, along with the other leaf, I mean not leaf getting, grass getting, along with leaf getting, walking towards the middle of the town. 
Asuma would then hand the other team the scroll, as they would then nod and say thank you. Naruto would then say, what was that all about? I thought that was going to be like some awesome fight. Asuma then said, nah kid, you're too arrogant and naive to know that yet. Just wait kid, you'll eventually have a lot of more, more powerful and like, battle ready missions. Eventually you'll learn to love these type of missions. Naruto would then say, Nah, these are too boring. The training exams at this point is five months away. Naruto would then come back and realize to the village that Sasuke had already gone on a searing mission that had been added to an airing mission. They had defeated Zabuza basically the same way as Cannon. Naruto would then be kind of jealous and decide since Sasuke got his Sharingan, he needed to start training with his Dojutsu more. Naruto would actually be put under a Genjutsu while training against Asuma, and it would trigger something. Something sort of similar to Mongeko Sharingan, except for in this case, I'm calling it. Basically what the Kodama Fusion is, it's basically um, something that I invented myself the version of Susano and Mason Mongeko version of the Uzumaki Clan Dojutsu. And basically, Kodama is like trees, which means paper, and then Fujin is ink. So, paper, ink, Dojutsu, that's where I got it. Kodama Fujin. Gone. Kodama Fujin gone. And uh, basically, Kodama Fujin is the Mongeko Sharingan part. Yeah, the Uzumaki Dojutsu itself is yet to be named, which I'll probably have a name for it in the next video of this part. So basically, Naruto would then say that he kind of felt a weird blazing aura around him. He would then be surrounded by a sun titan the sort of thing, except for it's more of like a slight armor. Kind of similar to the thing to the left, except for way smaller around the size of Naruto, just barely giving him some short cell. Asuma would then wonder what this is, and he would decide to continue conflict with Naruto, except for whenever he attacked, not even his wind-bladed chalk could get through. He would then say, huh, we're probably going to need training on this. Naruto would then say, I don't even know what this is, it just got triggered when you put me under that Genjutsu. I saw Aruka sensei die. I also saw you, you know, and Shikamaru die. And I just snapped. Naruto's eyes, for some reason, weren't in his QB state. They were in his dojutsu with a mix of the QB. He would then realize that he needed to snap out of his anger. When he did, his Kodama Fujin would also disappear along with his thing. Naruto would then decide that he would have to start training in order to beat Sasuke and not let him slip him up. Naruto would also think they needed to learn more jutsu, so every single and more battle tactics. So every single day, he would send about two shadow clones, about anywhere where they could go to find more low-level water ninjutsu, wind ninjutsu, and um, better ways of fighting and strategy. Then they would dispel that at the end of the day, letting him train while they study. And uh, thank you guys for watching. This was What If the Uzumaki Clan Had a Dojutsu Chapter 2. Um, 15 likes for the next part. Hope you guys like this. And um, yeah, guys. I really enjoy making these What Ifs for you guys. Thank you for 187 subscribers. Hopefully we get 200 subscribers soon. Maybe by Friday. If we can. And um... With that being said, guys, Anime God.